Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three parallel walls A, E, D, F and C, B as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we have got these two cross ladders B, E and A, C such that they intersect each other at this point point D. The height of two walls are 5 and 7 and now we are going to calculate the height H. In this video tutorial I will show you two different approaches to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first method. Let's focus on these two triangles. The triangle that I have shaded E, A, B and the other triangle is D, F, B. These both are similar triangles according to angle, angle, angle theorem because these two triangles share this angle B as you can see and since these two walls are parallel so this angle is congruent to this angle then we know that this third angle are going to be congruent as well since the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and call this side length AF as an A and FB as this side this lowercase b. Then we have got these proportion 5 over a plus b equals to h over b. Now let's go ahead and cross multiply these ones. So we are going to get these one as 5b equal to h times a plus b. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one. And here is our next step. Let's focus on these two other triangles, a triangle CBA and triangle DFA and we can see that these two triangles are similar as well according to angle, angle, angle theorem because these two triangles share the same angle A and since these two walls are parallel so that means these two angles are same and moreover their remaining angles this third angle and this third angle are going to be congruent as well because we know that the sum of the angles in any triangle must be 180 degrees. Then we're gonna have uh, equal proportions so we can write uh, 7 divided by a plus b equals to h divided by a. Now let's go ahead and cross multiply this one. So we are going to get 7 times A equal to H times A plus B. Let's go ahead and call this equation as equation number 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and compare equations 1 and 2 and we can see the right hand side is same so we can equate the left hand side as well. So therefore we can write 7a equals to 5b and now if I divide both side by 7 so that means our a value equals to 5b over 7. Just keep in your mind and now let's go ahead and substitute this uh, a equals to 5b over 7 value in this equation 1. So our equation 1 is going to become simply 5b equal to h times, I'm going to replace a by 5b over 7 plus b because on inside this 
parentheses I have just copied it down over here and I have simplified it I can just make the common denominator 7 so our simplified answer turns out to be 12 B over 7 so thus our equation is going to become 5 B equal to H times 12 B over 7. Now let's go ahead and divide by B on both sides. Similarly, that means we are going to multiply by 1 over B on this side and 1 over B on this side. This B and B is gone. This B and B is gone as well. So we got 5 equals to 12 H over 7 multiply the reciprocal that means 7 over 12 on this side and 7 over 12 on this side this 7 7 is gone 12 12 is gone so we simply got our h value is 5 times 7 is 35 divided by 12 so this is our h value so thus our h value turns out to be 35 divided by 12 or it is approximately equal to 2.917 and now let me show you the second method and this second method is called cross ladder theorem 1 over h equal to 1 over a e plus 1 over BC and now let's go ahead and calculate this height H let's go ahead and fill in the blanks I can write this 1 over H equal to 1 over a e in our case is 5 plus 1 over BC in our case is 7 now let's focus on this right hand side fractions I have just copied it down let me show you how to add these two fractions let's crisscross 7 times 1 is 7 and then we put down whatever this sign plus is and the other one, one is 1 times 5 is 5 divided by we're gonna multiply these denominators 5 times 7 is 35 so we got 12 over 30 5 so our 1 over h equals to now 12 over 35 let's go ahead and flip both fractions over so that is going to become h over 1 equal to 35 over 12 or simply we got h equal to 35 divided by 12 our value so thus our height h turns out to be 35 over 12 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye